Hi, Peter Charles here, Folk to Life Photography. And look what I picked up today. The uh, Voigtlander 23mm uh, Nocton f1.2. It's a, a spherical lens, and we're going to take a look at what's in here. Now, before I get started, I've read a lot about this lens. And some people complain about problems with field curvature, which means it's not focusing on the sensor in a completely flat field. There's a bit of a curve to it, which can result in, you know, some parts of the image being out of focus. What I've got from this discussion is some of them have said, yes, it's a problem. Some have said, no, I don't even see it. For my kind of photography, I probably won't see it. So it's nice to have a 23 millimeter. Uh, the f1.2 is going to be really cool. So let's take a look at the lens and get a box open. We have the usual booklet and the usual styrofoam. Now, I just noticed there's no lens hood with this. So we are working without a lens hood, but you know, apart from that, I mean, there are lens hoods on the market you can get that fit this if you wanted to. So I'm going to put this on my X-Pro and we'll see what happens. Okay, the first thing I notice here is very, very smooth. Focusing ring, very smooth. And the aperture ring is going in you know, third of a stop. There's a very, very broad uh, distance between the uh, various the stops, which gives you lots of room to get your exposure nailed. And when you're looking for that manual focus experience, you want a smooth, uh, oh, this is butter. This is really butter. Okay, we're gonna do a little experiment here. I've heard that the focusing depth of field scale on this thing is way off. So we'll see if it really is. I'll take my glasses off so I can focus. Okay, there we are. We're at F, I'll put F5.6. I'm going from infinity to a meter. And when I'm looking at this, I'm going, yeah. So the camera agrees with the lens, all right? The camera shows that I'm going from infinity to one meter, and the lens depth of field scale shows the same thing. Now, this is with the camera set to film format for depth of field. If you set it to pixel level, it's going to be different. Film format is way more tolerant than pixel level. Pixel level is you're going to get maximum sharpness. So bottom line here is with the, with this lens, if you want to make sure that you're getting maximum depth of field and critically sharp, you should have your camera set to pixel level for the depth of field, not film format. But if you're doing street photography like me, film format is perfect. That's what you need because I'm not looking for superb pixel level absolute perfect sharpness is by getting the image if you look at some of the famous street photographers out of there out there that a lot of their stuff is not that sharp it's because it's about getting the image not about perf technical perfection so all i'm saying is when you look at the film format depth of field scale on the camera and you look on the lens they agree and if you want you know, critical sharpness, put your camera to pixel level, depth of field, and then you'll get critical sharpness and it'll be a lot less than the focusing depth of field scale on the lens, which is to be expected. So I'm kind of, oh, get my glasses out of the way. There we go. This is really an attractive package, I should say. Very attractive package and I'm looking forward to using it. I think it's gonna be a great uh, addition to the system. And, uh, you know, I like manual focus lenses. And the thing is about the X-Pro3, it's been designed to be a film 
experience. So using manual focus lenses is a great addition to that. And when you think that the, the right mount and they connect electronically with the camera, that's a big deal. So let's see, in a month or two, I'll get another video out with some results from this lens. Cheers. Thank you.